guys uh, we're back uh, with another shave uh, today I have uh, you can see there's some soaps soap in my face I'm using uh, Phoenix and Bows obsidian uh, soap a limited edition soap with uh, some black pepper scent and and vetiver and I think there's something else in there too um, before the shave, uh, I took a shower, as always. During the shower, I um, I had my soap. Uh, I added some water to my soap um, for the for the time where where I <laughs> when I was in the shower, and then yeah, and and then I used the excess water with the soap. Uh, in my face before lathering the soap up. Uh, I have sheeted once again uh, because I feel like if I start to uh, uh, lather up uh, or get the soap done before uh, I start filming, we might be here for like a couple of hour, hours. Uh, not really that long, but there's like two, three minute extra time. Um, today I'm using um, a brush that I won from um, a guy called Rudy Sanchez, I think. Uh, it's a brush made from, uh, made by uh, Love Your Shave. Uh, it's a guy called Vladimir um, that turns these handles. Uh, it has a two band uh, best badger knot, I think there is, it is. Mm. And you can really feel how much leather this one holds compared to... Uh, uh, if I compare it to, uh, like, uh, I have a few Jackie brushes and that doesn't hold like any leather at all. Um, Uh, when I got this soap, I wasn't sure about the scent uh, from the beginning. I've used it like five times now or something like that. Um, but I'm starting to like it more. And hopefully it's the vetiver I start to like because a while back I ordered the, uh, the vetiver planet from uh, PA. Uh, by Douglas uh, and I ordered the bundle with the aftershave too so I really hope that, that that's something for me and um, for today's shave I'm going to use another new razor uh, another victory actually um, I won this beautiful uh, Drew Dick uh, razor uh, this is the first one I got from, from Drew and I have only heard great things about these razors. It's an 8.8. Eight. Um, the blade is a little bit shorter than uh, like the Jerry Stark knife uh, the razor I used last time. So that's I think that's good for me. Uh, we will see. It's the first time I try it. Um, it's a beautiful um, razor, and the scales are from black corn. And I actually the first thing I thought about when when getting it, when taking it out from the box, uh, was how light it was mm. compared to. Uh, to uh, both the Jerry Stark Razor and also uh, especially uh, the Osiris Bladeworks one <laughs> because this one is real heavy but this was this one is real light um, and wow Sometimes you hear guys saying uh, when they use 
a double edge razor that almost doesn't feel like they have a blade in it and to be fair that's close to what what I'm feeling right now uh, I can hear uh, when it cuts the whiskers uh, but to be fair I really don't feel anything <laughs> This is a spot where my beard grows in a hell lot of different directions. Um, sometimes make it hard to get a close shave here. And it's easy to get some, some irritation uh, as well. Uh, Just wow. Mm. There's a guy uh, in the Swedish sweat shaving community that has like this big love for, for these racers. Um, from Drew, and uh, honestly, I can understand why, because so far this is the smoothest shave I've ever gotten. It's pretty amazing. Um, this razor is also also something that I <laughs> that I won. Uh, I won it from a guy named Andrew. Uh, Uh, and for, as far as I know, he got rid of, of it because he had another uh, racer from Drew coming in. Wow. That's easy and it's sharp and uh, it's smooth. Uh, actually, instead of <laughs> watching in the mirror, uh, as I used to do, <laughs> I'm like watching in the phone. Uh, I guess that makes it a little bit harder to see where I am uh, and what I'm doing.
Um, well, that's that's the first pass. Mm. And then um, just have to take some water and feel where I am at. Mm. Um, well, there is still some hair left, and we are going to do another pass. Uh, um, uh, last video I had to do two passes with the grain. Mm, I'm pretty sure we can go um, against the grain straight away this time. Um, last shave I did, uh, I used um, I used a double edge razor uh, and. I got a real, real clean shave, and um, that's like 36 hours ago or something like that. So my hair hadn't grown up that much, uh, so probably I could have gone against the grain uh, straight away, but doing that could have meant uh, some skin irritation as well, so I skipped it. Uh, also, I have like a red dot right there, mm, some kind of inflammation in the mm -hmm. under the skin, um, and that might start to bleed when when I'm going against the grain over there, but. And I can actually feel that when I'm touching it with a brush, it almost hurts a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, so let's go for the second pass. Mm. And yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Uh, it's not BBS here, but it's as close as it can be. Um, it's the same right now. I can't... I almost can't feel uh, if the blade is... Uh, that the blade is actually touching my skin. vibrating. <laughs> um, can't do anything about it really. Turn off notifications maybe, but well, that's not me. I have like a lot of addictions it feels like. to shaving gear. Uh, not just to the gear, probably more so to the gambling about it, for it.
it's close again. <laughs> I'm usually not going against the grain that often. I think that's because uh, I haven't gotten there uh, just yet, being comfortable with it. Uh, but I guess we gotta start somewhere, uh, can't just, or of course, we can just go with the grain or Whatever we like, um, but I'm also for a. I also want to have like a clean shape, so. Uh. So let's see. Um, learned really to to get the from under the mm, cheek to to up to the cheek uh, against the grain mm, but uh, I guess we can at least try to get it really close uh, here. It could have ended up a bit like a big cut. And then I think we managed to to skip that. And I'm gonna need a dropped razor. Could have done that too. Uh, I'm usually just going with the grain here, two passes. Uh, I think I would do the same today. Uh, I tried a little bit, but I can see and feel the irritation on my skin. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be all red today. Even though I'm going with the green, uh, it feels like I get a, a real close shave there. Uh, I think we do the same with my over lip uh, twice. With the green. Uh, I could probably go uh, across it, like sideways, but mm. I 
I don't know. Uh, I guess we all feel um, what's what's best for our skin at the time. Um, yeah, and there's no soap left here. Probably gonna put some extra on my overlip. Well, um, that's the shave. And some hot water. Um, and, and feel around. Uh, it's not BBS, but it's close. And it was a smooth shave. And uh, I know I have mentioned earlier that I have some. Usually have some troubles um, uh, shaving with a new blade, but for the first time, this was quite an amazing shave. Um, yeah. Uh, cold water and before stropping the knife um, and rinsing the brush off, uh, I usually go for an aftershave, a uh, splash. Um, today we're going with the Pinout Club and uh, aftershave lotion. Um, this is one of the aftershaves I use the most at the moment. Mm. I think it goes with like everything and just push it on like that. Uh, and I can feel it. And I can feel that. Yeah, I got some some irritation as well, and a little bit. And uh, you can I can feel out the shave, but um, yeah, it was. It was for the first time for uh, using a new razor. Uh, it was one hell of a shave. Yeah, I guess I will use this a uh, little, little bit more uh, and often now in the beginning to to start feeling it. The only thing that I at first didn't like uh, was this little notch, notch here and. And these, they are pretty sharp, and, and when stropping, uh, it kind of uh, cut into the thumb. But I guess that's that's something you learn uh, during the time when using it. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here, and uh, thanks a lot for for watching. Mm. Yeah, and see you next time.